Good morning, everyone. How y'all doing? Today we're in our backyard garden, trying to find a creative way to keep our German Shepherd out from crossing through our flower bed in the hopes that he doesn't destroy any more plants that I've put in. There are some uh, Rus Russian, it's cold, I'm sorry this morning if I'm speaking funny. <laughs> I have Russian sage, some artemisia, some lantana, and some geraniums that have all been um, a fraction of what the plant used to be <laughs> because he crosses through the flower bed. If he sees a squirrel, there's nothing gonna stop him. He'll try and leap over it. Um, and I don't know if I've ever introduced him. He, he always needs to be near us. His name is Chief and he's about seven years old, little over seven years old. And he's uh, definitely part of our family. Uh, it has to be everywhere we're going. I mean, the minute, if even if we're, uh, all of us are gone from the house for a little bit of time, he, he's not happy about that. He loves to be inside, loves to be with us. If we're outside, he wants to be outside with us as well. Anyway, the panel that you see behind us, you can buy those pre-made and I forgot how long they are. Is that eight feet? It's about eight feet. You can buy them pre-made. I think if you buy the supplies and make it yourself, it's roughly the same amount of money, give or take a few dollars. So that we happen to have had this from many, many years ago. And I don't remember what we used it for. I want to say my husband at the time was trying to keep, we had a, German Shepherd and a Labrador, and we were trying to keep them away from all our pull pump stuff. And we've just kept them with us, and we incorporated the one behind our early blue hydrangeas, and I was thinking, what if we try and put it back here? My mom and I were out shopping the other day, and she picked up these climbing roses for me. They are Perfume Breeze, zone five to nine, and they're a double bloom. I'm going to plant the roses and after that I'll show you how he assembled um, some stakes behind the fence to help keep it secure in the ground. The fence is about three feet tall and we placed it just under three feet from the block wall. It gives Chief plenty of room to go back and forth. And I'm sure as I was planting and doing the fence, you could see how many times he would just go back and forth. The pieces of wood that we drove into the ground are one by four pressure treated. They're only $1.98 at Home Depot. And my husband, uh, cut them into uh, a point so 
so he could stake them into the ground and then he nailed the back or screwed the back in, I'm not sure. And I think it gives a bit of a cottage appearance uh, to, the, to the backyard and once spring comes and the roses begin to push growth and I can feed them through the slats, I think hopefully <laughs> by midsummer it should be just a wall of pink climbing shrub roses and even as this morning I was uh, having a cup of coffee and we had it kind of leaned up uh, against the pots the the gate the fence and from my kitchen I could see chief there's a pathway right here between the redwood and the fence and I'm probably going to put some kind of a topiary form just so I can get him away from mowing down my Russian sage and um, I have iris that are going to be coming up here in the spring so it doesn't matter if he sees that he can get through a certain spot he sure is going to try and find his way so hopefully this is uh, a deterrent for him along with making our garden look just a little bit more cottage like so I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thanksgiving week thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon bye